so hey guys welcome back to yet another video so nowadays we are seeing that many of the phones have so much of the bloatware like see i just set up my redmi 8 a dual and i am getting a tons and tons of bloatware like this amazon and that prime video and all that so some kind of bloatware like netflix then this amazon prime video linkedin me credit can be uninstalled okay so it's a easy step to uninstall it but what about this kind of me pay who uses me pay do you use me pay no one uses me pay then this kind of the share me then service and feedback this apps are of no use and it cannot be uninstalled easily okay so before uninstalling the system apps I mean this kind of unwanted apps let me show you the my uh, storage space so here it is i am occupied 10.8 gb with this kind of bloatware so if you have a low memory phone like i have just 32 gig phone uh, so 32 gb is in 2022 is way lesser okay so now the main question comes now how to uninstall this kind of system bloatware okay system apps like the me cat apps is not just a thing means are just xiaomi play store kind of alternative but who uses that if you open this kind of get apps now let me show you it asks me for the so much of the permission see uh, when you open it first of all it will just ask and all that so in this video i will just show you how to uninstall these kind of apps for that you have to follow the steps so just go to the settings on your phone after going to settings just go to the about phone tap to the miy version for around eight, five to six times when you so when you see this kind of you are now a developer just go back and just go to the additional settings after that there is a developer option so just go to the developer option after going to the developer option just uh, enable this just scroll down and enable usb debugging so yeah i am enabling the usb debugging just select i am aware and just click here on the ok so i just click on the ok now what you have to do is you have to just go on your pc make sure you use original data cable and adb driver should be installed on your pc so we are back to our pc now what you have to do is you have to just go to the adb folder so i have made a detailed video how to install adb driver so please consider checking it before proceeding the steps further so just go to the adb after going to the adb just open it in the windows terminal so i am opening in the terminal so after that you open in the terminal now wait till it takes some time so after that Make sure you use the USB 2.0 port available on your laptop. So I am just using the USB 2.0 port. Now after connecting USB data cable to USB 2.0 port. So on your phone connect the type C cable means type C data cable. And just after that what you have to do is after you get a charging then you have to just select a file transfer. After that you have to just here see usb debugging is on and now so guys there is one more extra step you have to just select this install by usb so you have to make a miui account so if you are using then you should have a miui account so just i am signing it with my miui account and we will catch you guys so enable the usb debugging the these xiaomi phones have two kind of usb debugging so the first one is the usb debugging and there is a security settings i don't know why they ask so disconnect the cable till then so just accept it it takes a hell lot of time so yeah just accept it after that you have to also just install via usb why this needs and yeah this needs sim card so then i'm just turning off turning it back on again okay so after that you have this kind of option so you have to just click here on the ok and always select this option so just click here on the ok and just now just go to the home page now what you have to do is you have to just type adb devices 
okay so here is my device don't uh, just uh, say this you will just only get to one but i have two device connected with my pc so i will just select this kind of this is my serial number so now on to your phone just go to the play store here on the play store you have to search the app called package name viewer 2.0 so you have to install this apk on your phone to just know the code name of your apps so yeah so after installing i've just open it after opening you here you can see that there is a kind of a user apps and a system app so just go to the system app after that what select the app that you want to just delete so i don't want this kind of feedback app so here i will just see this now on your pc what you have to do is you have to just type a command so here is that command uh, i will just give this command in my description box below so after you type this command now type this com.mui.bug report so i am typing it so i have typed this com.mui.bug report in my pc now just i will just click here on the enter after clicking on the enter if you get this kind of success then the app has been uninstalled so now what we have to install is now we uh, want to uninstall a uh, get app so i will just search here on the get apps so i just search for the get apps now the get apps code name is com.xiaomi.mepix okay so again we have to type the same command now com.xiaomi so com.xiaomi.mepix and now again so i got a success so i will just uninstall what the app means i will just give the this kind of commands in the description box below so if you don't want to install the app so i will just delete all the unwanted system app and i will show you how much storage space has been left after uninstalling all this kind of system apps So now I uninstall all the system apps that was unwanted. So now you can see that the phone is now cleaned up. Now what you have to do is you have to just uh, reboot once after installing all the system apps. So yeah, it is now rebooting. So this is it. The all the this kind of uh, codes or uh, commands are given in the description box below. So just please consider checking it. So yeah. So this is the video. So thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful then please consider subscribing it so thank you for watching bye